Number 43, rank the compounds in each of the following groups in order of increasing acidity or basicity as indicated and explain the order you assigned. So in this case, we have to just rank in terms of increased basicity, NH2 minus, HS minus, HTE minus, and PH2 minus. Okay, so let's write down our parameters here. We want to go by increasing basicity, which means that my least basic would be on the left side, and my most basic would be on the right side. Okay, so here is my little trend for basicity, right? And the first thing is, is that we have to just figure out why can we use this trend? Well, we can use this trend because all of these are coming from binary acids, right? So with binary acids, binary is when you only have two elements in one molecule. So you have an H and then you have a random element. There's no oxygens here. These are binary acids. Binary means two in chem, in chemistry world. So I just have nitrogen and hydrogen, nitrogen, uh, sorry, hydrogen and sulfur, hydrogen and tellurium, and phosphorus and hydrogen. So now let's just rank where they are in my little trend here. I'm just going to put this over here because I'm working with nonmetals. Let's see. So if N is right on the top, uh, the phosphorus would be right below it. So that's these two, nitrogen and phosphorus. And just take note that I'm looking at the elements that are not the hydrogen because they all have hydrogen in common. So when you want to rank them, you rank them for the other element. So that would be the nitrogen, the, the sulfur, the tellurium, and the phosphorus. So I have nitrogen and phosphorus already. I just got to look where sulfur is and tellurium. Sulfur is right next door to phosphorus. And then tellurium is a little bit down, but in the same period as the sulfur. Okay, and maybe I will just maybe make this a little bit more just so that it's more pronounced. Okay, in terms of basicity, we're increasing as we go up and increasing as we go over. So in this case, the more basic, um, the more basic structures would be to the tippy tops and all the way to the left if possible, or the closest to the left. So in this case, we would start off with tellurium. Since we're increasing, that means that the tellurium one would have to be the least basic. So I'm gonna put the HTE as the least basic. So that gets rid of this one. Now, if I'm increasing, I now have the next period, which is phosphorus and sulfur. But as I'm going from right to left, I increase in basicity. So the next one would be the sulfur. So that comes HS minus. So that gets rid of this one. Now I'm moving over to the phosphorus. I'm increasing in basicity. So that would be the phosphorus comes next. And then as I increase up again, I'm going to be more basic. So most basic would be the nitrogen one. And these are all accounted for. So now since we have our rank, we just have to put our greater than or less than signs, but HTE minus is less basic than HS minus, which is less basic than PH2 minus, which is less basic than NH2 minus. So we have our answer. Now, if you wanted to just explain the reasoning, this is all based off of electronegativity. So basically, um, as you're going down a group, right, your electronegativity is decreasing. So with that, you're going to be getting, you know, less basic. Generally speaking, the more higher the electronegativity, the more um, basic your atom is. And since nitrogen is all the way at the top and you decrease a lot as you're going down on your electronegativity scale, that's why nitrogen is the most basic here. So increase in basicity is linked to an increase in electronegativity of the elements that are not hydrogen. Electronegativity, basically the likeliness that they want to become negative. Nitrogen has a really good time with becoming negative, so it would more likely act as a base and not an acid. And there you go.
I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel and have a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you later. Bye-bye.